Hello guys, welcome back to our accounts paper end user transaction processing series. In this video, we will see comparison of vendor or customer master with business partner by considering ECC and Yeshwahana systems here. So now uh, we will start with the comparison basically by considering the features that has been added in Yeshwahana for this business partner. Now the first feature or the comparison point is central master data object. In ECC, business partner is not the central data object for customer and vendor uh, meaning we used to create for i mean separate uh, vendors and customer masters in ecc in addition to the business partner master data now where in yespohana <coughs> business partner becomes the central master data object for customer and vendors it replacing the separate customer master data objects uh, requirements are in yespohana now the second feature is like integration with vendor and customer masters in ECC, BP is not fully integrated with customer and vendor master by default. Additional configuration and data synchronization are needed to connect BP with customer and vendors. Whereas in Yespohana, the BP concept is fully integrated with customer and vendor masters and the synchronization is seamless. Basically in Yespohana, we do configuration of CVI, basically customer vendor integration which do synchronization uh, between this customer vendor and the business partner master data. Now the third one is BP roles. In ECC, BP roles were like uh, currently it's limited and tailored to the specific modules. For example, currently the usage of these BP roles are limited to FSCM or the CRM modules. Where in Yeshwahana, BP roles are more comprehensive and allowing greater flexibility in managing customer and vendor relationship. Now coming to the data maintenance, in ECC maintaining separate master data objects for customer vendors and BP can maintain lead to data redundancy and inconsistency. Also this is very time consuming activity to create separate uh, master data objects for these vendors and customer. Now in Mispohana with the BP as a central master data object, redundancy and inconsistencies are reduced leading to better data management. Core usage in ECC BP is mainly used in FSCM module and certain industry specific models. Now in Yeshwahana, core usage of BP in Yeshwahana for EST, MM and MM models, FI and MM models. Basically, if I have to give you an example here, now assume that you have to create purchase order or the sale order, then first you need to create a business partner under which you can create a supplier or the customer masters. Then you will be able to create a vendor or Oh, sorry uh, purchase order or sales order here now the next feature is mandatory so in ECC business partner uh, was not mandatory for core ECC functionality in ESD MM or FI because we used to create separate customer or the vendor master uh, by which we used to create purchase order or the sale order but now in Yeshwahana the business partner concept is mandatory uh, which is re required for ESD MM and uh, GST module and the FI module basically. Now customer T codes. In ECC, we used to manage customer through XT01, XT02. These are the central master data creation T codes and FD01, FD02 for FI specific master data creation T codes. And the display T codes basically SD03 and FD03. And in ECC, whenever we used to create this customer master data, this KNA1 table used to update uh, here. Now in Yespohana, now we are creating customer masters basically in PPT code itself. So meaning while creating business partner itself, we are creating customer uh, masters also. Now vendor T codes, now the vendor managed through XK01, XK02. These are the central uh, transition codes basically to create central master data. Now and for the accounting purpose, we used to use uh, FK01, FK02 transition codes and display XK03 and FK03. The table which used to update in ECC is uh, uh, LFA1. Now, where in Yeshwahana, uh, vendors are managed through transition code BP itself, and the table which is getting updated is BUT000. I hope you understand the comparison of vendor and customer master data uh, by considering the ECC and Yeshwahana system. If you have any um, doubts, anything, you can comment me. And if you need any further videos, please let me know in the comment. I'll be happy to create a new videos for you guys. Thank you.